You want to say hello to everybody? Why are you here to steal all the crinkle strings? Yeah, you just saw that. <laughs> this is truly a subscription box that everybody can enjoy, including your cats. Hello my spooky darlings and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Kelly, the Paranormal Housewife, and I'm here today doing another unboxing. This one I'm really excited about. This is from a girl that I follow on TikTok and according to her, I am the first person from TikTok to actually purchase her new subscription box. This is from Magic Lust. I've been avoiding all the unboxings that have been on TikTok and so I have no idea what is actually in this box. I have no hints, no themes, no nothing. So let's see what's in this together. First, let me see if I can get into the box. Oh, there we go. All right, so first thing on top, it's very nicely packaged up. We have a couple of cards on top. Uh, this one says this is the Magic Lust Serenity box and then also tells us what's inside the box. Don't want to look at that yet. Oh, Really nice, pretty thank you note saying thank you for supporting my small business. Thank you so much for supporting our small business. Enjoy your serenity. Always, Mickey. And I'm going to drop the links to her website, her TikToks, everything in the description below. So please go check her out. Um, I just, I love watching her TikTok. She does reading. She does, um, she explains a little bit about magic from sites that I haven't even seen before on Witch Talk. Um, and then, of course, a lot of stuff about her subscription box, which I'm really excited for. Uh, we have a, another business card with more of her information. Let's see if that will focus. And again, all this will be in the description box down below. And there's a card in here. Little succulents all over it. Oh wow. Another handwritten note in this. Stuff like this makes subscription boxes extra special and <laughs> much more exciting to open. I love personal touches like this. It it really brightens up my day. But also in there, um, Looks like this. Oh, it's an oracle card. Unlimited possibilities. Let's see if it will. Which is really pretty. Has that on the back. And this one is a. Another type of, I guess, oracle card. I'm trying to see if it'll. Uh, mindful messages. And this one says unlimited. I create my reality with the thoughts I think and things I focus on. I am unlimited in my ability to create a beautiful life full of good and love. I like this. Let's see if it will. Again, I love touches like this. And these I'm going to put up with my mirror with other little cards that I get like this in the mail. I'll show you my dressing room slash office in a future video. Um, Cause that would be way too much to try and put into an unboxing video as well. So I'm going to put these to the side. 
the I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up that well but there are little glitters uh, on the tissue paper and a couple of stickers what do we have in here Ooh. all right so first thing on top is a scrunchie which if I hadn't cut off all my hair I would definitely be using I love scrunchies I am a 90s girl I'm glad that scrunchies are coming back in style this is one it's really cute it's got a nice little galaxy pattern on it but I know a friend of mine who loves purple loves stuff like this and definitely can use scrunchie so I will pass this on to her Ooh. Try and keep some of these uh, little crinkle papers <laughs> in the box or else my cats will steal them. So this is a little satchel and it looks like it has lavender and rose petals in it. It smells so good. It really does. It's got little moons and stars on it. Oh, I love that. Ooh. The next item in this box is called Christmas Morning. It's a moisturizing lip balm. I mean, it's a little odd to get a Christmas product in February, but I love Christmas and I'm really hoping this smells like peppermint or something. Mm. I'll be honest, it really doesn't have a smell and looks like mine is unfortunately cracked. Unfortunately it is cracked and it has a couple of holes in it. It's, yeah, it's very dried out. And even after rubbing it, I'm not really getting much of a scent. This one might be kind of a dud. Maybe this was just a manufacturing error. I don't, I don't want to say this is, I don't know. It's not, it's, I don't know. I'm getting tongue tied. Excuse me. I, I'm just going to go with maybe this was just a one-off goof. It happens. Especially with small businesses. Not everything's going to be perfect. But everything else in here looks really great. So we'll just call this one a goof. We have another little mesh bag. And this one has crystals in it. And the great thing I love about this is it comes with little cards to tell you about the crystals. And it looks like I have uh, Amazonite, Amazonite, Amazonite. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Amazite is great to help aid in expressing your own thoughts and set clear boundaries, aids in assisting viewing other people's points of view. This crystal also aids to soothe trauma and calm the soul, promotes harmony and balance. It's associated with the throat and heart chakras and the Virgo zodiac. This is the piece of amazite, uh, amazite, amazite. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm sorry. But it's really pretty. It's kind of a aqua mint color. And 
and this will go in my little keeper of things above my desk. The other crystal that I got is citrine. nice yellow unpolished citrine and according to the card this crystal is one of our favorites citrine helps attract abundance and boost mental stimulation aids in removing emotional toxins restores a sense of individuality and helps aid in decision making learning and teaching boy do I need this stone can't make a decision to save my life and I wouldn't mind uh, having uh, it uh, helping me attract some abundance. But it's gorgeous. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and we still have more surprises in here. Ooh. We have a bath bomb. Or. Sorry, bath salts, stress relief. This is uh, to put in your bath, of course. Why is it not? You pour this into your bath and it helps relieve stress. Actually, like good portion of this in here. It says it has Epsom salt, Himalayan sea salt, baking soda, and essential oils. Also, I can see lavender. I don't know if you can see that. But there's little pieces of lavender sprinkled throughout. I'm going to open this up see what it smells like. Bet you 10 bucks as soon as my husband sees that I got bath salts, he's gonna use them. Oh my goodness. I wish y'all could see, smell this. This smells amazing. There's definitely something else other than lavender in here. I don't know if it's the essential oils. Um, I'm not sure what essential oils they used in this, but This, this will definitely help with relieving stress. So, yeah. This one, really good. I really like this one. <laughs> Matches. Which is awesome because I always need them for my... This is... You can only see part of it, but this is my personal altar that I have in my office. Um, the shelves above it is also a part of it and I go through candles quite a bit and lighters so matches are a godsend for having us a backup. Put down here. Didn't realize you could see that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the matches make sense now. It's a white candle with little crystals tied to it. Uh, looks like turquoise, a moonstone, and then let's see if this. This is a purification candle to cleanse your space of negative energy. Very good candle to have in my office because I can be quite hard on myself and I'm the main cause of a lot of the negativity in this room because I am very hard on myself. Um, have some more cards in here. All right, so this is a card for the candle. Pause it if you want to read it. 
Stellar Sarah's Purifying Candle. The purpose of a white candle is to purify the energy. It interacts with your crown chakra, supporting your divine energy. Say to yourself, anything negative surrounding me will be pushed away by lighting this candle. It protects your space and the intentions you will be writing down in your journal. This helps alleviate your, or elevate your energy, connects you to a higher realm and cleaning your current space to build up a higher frequency. Again, perfect for my office. Exactly what I need. Hoping there might be a store where I can buy more of those because, again, I need them. Um, another business card, this one is for essential healing. And that's who did the bath salts and the lip balm. The owner's name is Chelsea Higley. I'm sorry, Chelsea, if I mis mispronounce your name. But I will go ahead and put all of her information in the description down below. It says here that she does essential healing, aromatherapy products, unique jewelry. She has a Facebook page. Um, and she also has an Etsy shop as well. So definitely go check that out. The lip balm, don't judge her on that. It... If you have a small business or you make your own products, you understand goofs happen. Please do not judge her on one lip balm. Instead, judge her on this amazing bath salts. It smells amazing. And that's a lot in there. Honestly, that would probably be two baths for me. I mean, this, seriously, anything else, just go to our Etsy page, get a bag of these bath salts. You won't regret it. And it looks like we have one more item in here. Uh, no, we have more than one more. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. Oh. Magic Loss Gratitude Journal. Gratitude is definitely something I need to be working on more of with everything that's been going on with COVID and these lockdowns and everything else that happened in 2020, it's really hard to focus on the things that you should be grateful for and things that you have gratitude for. And this, being able to write it down in this journal, oh wow. Okay, these nice thick pages, by the way. Keeping track of things I am grateful for and have gratitude for will be a lot easier in a really nice journal. It's it's not suede, but it has that texture. And it's embossed, I guess that's the right word. But this is a nice, nice quality journal. I like this. I will definitely be using this. And it looks like we have at least one more item. Yep, one more item, which is... Huh, doesn't say what it is. It's got a roller roll and crystals in it. Takes a little bit for it to work up for whatever the this liquid is to come out. Oh. It's like I wanna say it's mint, but something else too. Very cooling, very refreshing. I wish they had put something in here to say what this was, what its benefits were, or the crystals. There are a bunch of little crystals in here. And it's got the Magic Lust logo on there. smells really good and it goes on very easily once you get the product going. 
But yeah, I want to say this is a mint or a peppermint, maybe essential oils. I'm not sure. But it's it's pretty and it smells great. I just wish I knew what its purpose was. Um Hello John Paul. Probably didn't see it, but John Paul just poked his head in here. Uh but yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff in one box. Oh my goodness. Let's see one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, plus the oracle cards and the mindful message card. So like 10 different things in this box. This box was a little bit on the pricier side. Um, apologize, I have to look it up real quick. I want to say it was $50. Yeah, it was $50 and honestly, I can't remember if there was shipping included with that or not. Um, and it's a bi-monthly box, so you get it one month, you don't get it the next month. But for $50, I mean, we got a lot of really nice stuff. And it's very nice quality. And I feel like I got my money's worth. I love all the products. Uh, Except for the scrunchie and the lip balm, I know I'm going to use everything else. Uh, and I really like it. I feel like with the lavender and the rose that was in it, I feel like it was almost made for me. And I like that specialness. I also love the specialness of having two different handwritten notes in there. Touches like that just make subscription boxes seem even more special and I'm definitely more likely to order from companies that do things like that. But this is a small business and if her other boxes are like this, I see great things for her. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what just happened. My camera decided to stop recording. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> but the address for the subscription box is magiclustbox.com. I'm going to have that link plus all of her social media and everything like that included in the description below. Also we'll have all the links for the woman who made the bath salts and the lip balm so you can go check those out. <laughs> we have company. Would you like to join us? I like when my pets join me in my office. You want to say hello to everybody? Why are you here to steal all the crinkle strings? Yeah, you just saw that. <laughs> this is truly a subscription box that everybody can enjoy, including your cats. <laughs> One of the things that I really like about the subscription box is that Inca. While this is slightly witchy, it's not over the top witchy. It's not anything that you need to really know how to cast spells or anything like that to do. But it's also something where people who, like my mom, she likes crystals, she likes bath salts and essential oils and crystal. I think I just said crystals already. Um, Someone like her would enjoy this just as much as I would. So this is a great box to keep in mind for gifts, things like that. It is a bi-monthly box. So you get it one month, you don't get it the next month, and then you'll get it the third month. But for $50, we got a lot of products. And it's products that I would actually use. So I don't think it's too expensive. <laughs> I am looking for more subscription boxes to sign up for. Um, I really want to get paranormal or horror. I don't have any of those. Most of the ones that I've got signed up for right now are witchy themed. But that's because it's a little bit easier to find. 
if you know of any good subscription boxes other than Loot Crate, I really want to support small businesses versus a bigger business like that, please let me know. And if you know of small businesses that are great, let me know. I want to check them out and support them. Right now during COVID going on and everything else that's going on, it's really hard for small businesses to start up and to stay afloat. So we need to do what we can to help them out. So let me know in the comments below what I should sign up for next, what businesses I should check out for. Hello again, Bagheera. Bagheera has walked back into the room. Well, I think I'm going to end this video here. Unboxing this and seeing everything has been an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I really hope you go and check out this company. They're fantastic. I do have a new video coming out on Friday. I try and post every Tuesday and Friday. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before we move, which is in July. Oh my god, it's so soon. But please, please, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. If you like this video and you want to see more unboxings like this, please give me a like. And in the comments, let me know what your favorite product was and what sort of things you want to see in, the, in future videos. I apologize. I don't know why I am so tongue-tied right now. And I'm being distracted by an adorable black cat just walking around my feet and trying to get into everything and going after all these little blue crinkly things that <laughs> while making this video and right now. <laughs> this is a box for everyone. Everybody will get enjoyment out of it, including your cats. <laughs> but yes tell me what sort of things you want to see in future videos um I have a lot of stuff coming up one of the things I mentioned was a tour of my office which also doubles as my dressing room because this is the only room my dresser would fit in but I'm going to save all that for that video because that's going to lead me into a big long tangent that none of us want right now um, uh, I have some interesting adventures coming up soon, and I'll be sharing all that with you as well. And, well, I think that's about it for right now. So please, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see last, my last video, I have that listed right up here. If you want to see... Uh, other videos from this channel because you haven't seen any of the videos I've got a playlist right down here for you as well thank you so much for coming out today I really appreciate it and I hope y'all have a great week thank god Mercury Retrograde is out of here we can get back to life as normal in the time of COVID or whatever this period of time is oh hi John Paul is in here too you want to come here come on yeah Kind of hard to see him. Oh my god, my chair just fucking broke. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, y'all have a good day. I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. Bye bye. This is